Hi guys, my name is Dr. Simon Chard and I'm a cosmetic dentist from London. Now, I've been asked a few questions um, to give my advice to young dentists. I've been qualified now for eight years. I qualified from King's College London and um, I absolutely love what I do. I'm passionate about dentistry. I'm very fortunate in that I get to do the kind of dentistry that I like to do, which is cosmetic implant dentistry. Um, I get to lecture around the world to dentists on digital dentistry, which is another one of my passions. Um, and uh, yeah, I basically, I'm living the dream, in my opinion, with regards to my career. Now, I've been asked to give some advice to young dentists. I've got three top tips. The first one, which is especially true for students, but also for dentists in the first few years of their um, graduation, is um, you're in competition with everyone. Now, that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's healthy competition but you are in competition with everyone else. And what that means is you need to compete. You need to be able to formulate a, a CV, which means that you can get the sort of job that you want, whether that be as a specialist in hospital or as a cosmetic dentist or trying to get a job straight out of VT, you are in competition with everyone else that's out there. And so that starts from year two at university. I was very, very lucky to be advised by one of my professors uh, of this fact from a very young age and um, that led to me going for every single competition out there, whether it be the Endo Essay Prize or the Restorative Class 4 Composite Build-Up or the Clinical Prize for, for the whole year. Um, I went for absolutely everything. Now, I failed a lot and you will fail a lot, but that's good. If you're not failing, you're not learning. Um, but what you learn is firstly an incredible amount about multiple disciplines in dentistry, but also you build up that CV because you will win things eventually. Um, and that is great for your CV, it's great for getting jobs after VT. Um, it also can be good financially, I got a, a one, quite a few uh, financial prizes, which is great when you're a student. Um, and it just helps to round your CV off to give you something different against your competitors because everyone's going to come out with a BDS, so that's not enough. Um, so that's my first point. Number two, these next two are both clinical. So the first one is to get some dental loops. I would recommend getting loops as soon as physically possible. As soon as you're doing even restorative work on models in Phantom Head, get some dental loops. Um, 2.5 magnification is absolutely fine, ideally with a light, and um, you'll be amazed at how much more you can see. It makes dentistry so much easier. Uh, I personally work with a five times magnification and I literally couldn't work without them. The final point is dental photography. Now for me, dental photography is one of the most important skills that a dentist can have. It, it, I won't go into the, the list of, of benefits that it has, but in the short term for you as a young dentist, it'll allow you to develop so, so quickly. So you'll learn so much by looking at your work afterwards, seeing where you've gone wrong, and then seeing how to develop and how to improve from there. Uh, it'll also give you a portfolio of work so that you can show your future employers the kind of dentistry that you're able to achieve. And when you get into the general dental field, i.e. treating patients in general public, it'll allow you to develop a rapport and a trust relationship with your patients far, far faster um, because they can actually see where the problems lie, where those cracks are or the broken teeth or the, the breaking down of malcolms, etc. So hopefully that's useful. Um, as I say, I, I'm very, very passionate about dentistry. I love what I do. Um, I hope you guys to, do too. And um, take the time while you're young to get as broad an experience as possible so that you can work out what's right for you. There's no point in jumping in to the thing that you think you're gonna enjoy and then realizing 10 years later that actually it's not for you. So take the time when you're a younger dentist without any sort of major financial dependencies to um, get a nice broad experience and that'll give you the best opportunity to get the most out of this fantastic career. If anyone has any other questions, feel free to contact me on social media, all the best. My name is Nicola Gore, I'm a dentist. I qualified from guys in 1993, that is 25 years ago. Uh, my advice for the younger generation is that you need to learn to walk before you run. Dentistry is a constantly evolving career. New things and new digital technology are constantly coming uh, along and it's really good if you could find a good role model to help you along your career and a mentor. 
Um, being members of young dentist groups such as British Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry will give you that opportunity uh, to evolve constantly and be around like-minded people who will help you in your career. Also try and enjoy your career, it's a very exciting career and um, it's hopefully a long career for you guys. So uh, really try and enjoy it, keep healthy and exercise, look after your backs. Hey guys, it's Dr. Catrice Austin, the queen of smiles. I am here to give you a little bit of advice and the thing that helped me when I started my career, um, my when I did my residency at Lutheran Medical Center, my uh, instructor asked me, what are you gonna do that will set yourself apart from your competitor? Now, I'm here in New York City and there's tons of dentists here and dentistry is more competitive than ever. So what I would say is think about what is that going to be for you? For me, I knew I loved cosmetic dentistry and I also knew that I loved entertainment. So I decided to merge those two things together to uh, become the dentist to the stars back in 1998. So uh, that made me unique back, at the, in, back in the day. Um, I was a woman and black woman and uh, had my own practice, but I had a distinct target audience. So um, that is one of the keys. And then discover what you love to do in dentistry. What would make you want to get up every single day and do it? Um, and I love my job. I'm the happiest that I've ever been. So if you can identify exactly what you love, um, not what's going to make the most money because dentistry is tough it is boring, it's stressful, it's competitive, and if you're not walking into your job every day happy and loving it, you're gonna burn out so quickly. So start identifying what you love, hone in your skills, start taking CE courses, join organizations like the AACD, um, and, and read those journals. I know you're not getting them yet, but when those magazines come in and there's new information, learn what it is and stay on top of your craft and that's how you will be the best. Hope those tips help. Have a great day. My name is Ash Palmer, dentist from Smile Design by Ash in Chinquil in Essex. I also have a training academy called the Academy by Ash. So I was a dental student in Guy's Hospital and I know it can be a bit stressful when you're there. So a couple of tips for dental students. The first important thing is when you're stressed, uh, don't worry, we all go through that. It's important you talk to your demonstrators, you talk to your friends and try and get it off your chest and share things with each other. The other thing is that when you're learning, you will make mistakes. Even as qualified dentists in general practice, we all learn from mistakes. So it's really important not to be emotionally involved with your work, but certainly prepare for it, be thorough, do good reading, and do the best you can. But if you make a mistake, don't worry, you'll learn from it. And finally, what I want to do is just give some tips for when you qualify and come out into the real world. The first important thing is to understand it's a very competitive world out there. So you need to prepare yourself. You need to document your cases as an undergraduate really well. You know, do good professional photography, keep a nice iPad, do good presentations. The other thing is you need to have a good CV. You need to also maybe create a business card. You need to maybe do a little website to show that you're proactive and dynamic. Instagram is very cool for younger dentists, so maybe start branding yourself on Instagram. And certainly go on more courses and anything relevant you can show that you're demonstrating to improve your skills will look very favourable when you go for that interview. I'm Dr. Andrew Cupidor. I graduated 24 years ago from the University of Iowa. I currently practice as a specialist in sedation and special care dentistry. My advice to my former dental self would be simple. You graduated as a, as a dentist, it means that you're clever and hardworking. Don't stress yourself out about mastering all the technical aspects of dentistry. This will come. Learn from your mistakes and you will make them. But don't beat yourself up. This is how you grow. Explore the aspects of dentistry and find your passion. Find out what excites you. Limit stress by surrounding yourself with staff who are your family and who have your back. Make sure that you take time out to laugh 
and not take yourselves too seriously. Make sure, make sure that you take time every morning, and this is what works for me. Take time in the morning to go inside, find peace, and I do this through meditation and Hi, I'm Mo. I'm one of the clinical supervisors here at the uh, dental education facility. Um, I've been a dentist now for seven years. I think my biggest advice that I can give to students is don't rush into your procedures. I think uh, once you start to rush, that's when you notice things go wrong. Um, so say for example, you know, you have an extraction and you know, you got a next patient that's coming up and uh, you're just worried about, okay, I'm gonna be late for the next patient. That's when you start to fracture things, that's when things go wrong, and to be honest, if you just stopped, took a second, took a deep breath, um, you'd be a whole lot better than if you were to just say, take it out straight away. So I'd just say, yeah, biggest advice I would say is don't rush. Hello, so my name is Twin and I've been qualified for five years now. So the most important advice that I'd give any dental student is actually enjoy dental school, have fun, make new friends, go on you know, interesting road trips, but most importantly, find yourself a mentor. So someone who you can confide in, get advice in, and it could be someone who's been um, qualified for a few years now like myself or it could be an older dental student or even a tutor, whoever it is that you feel most comfortable with. Hi, my name's Anna Middleton and I'm the founder of London Hygienist. I qualified from Eastman Dental Hospital in 2015 and I'm currently studying as a dental therapist at the University of Essex. So I know all too well what it feels like to be a student. My advice is remember common things occur commonly. So when you're preparing for your exams and case presentations, bear that in mind. When you do qualify, I had a mentor when I first started and that really helped me just to improve my skills, my communication, it helped me work through areas of strengths and weaknesses and all those things just help you become a better clinician knowing you've got someone to turn to. You know, remember as well, it's okay to not be okay and if you don't get something right, that's how you learn and you'll get better as time goes by. Don't be a hero. Don't necessarily feel that you need to do everything in one go. Quite often what I used to do is ask the patient to go back into the waiting room. So that would give me a little bit of time to just sort of treatment plan and organize my thoughts. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Marina Road and my advice for you is um, throughout your career progression, never stop learning. Uh, finishing your dental degree is just the beginning of your journey. Um, and actually there's so many exciting things to learn about dentistry, depending on what it is that, that excites you. Um, um, so throughout your throughout your career, every year, pick up a new skill. Um, I always say the more you learn, the more you earn, but also the more exciting and interesting your career will be for you. Hello, my name is Nithya and I'm one of the clinical supervisors at Peninsula Dental School. One of the things that I would advise is to try and enjoy the time they have at the dental school as much as possible. Make sure you spend time with each other um, because you'll make so many new friends, um, probably friends for life. So it's really important that you make the time to socialise and just enjoy each other's company. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Kevin Dapper and I'm the clinical director of the Dove Dental Wellbeing Spa. I've been a dentist for about five years. If there's anything I could say to my younger dentist self, the key word I think of is development. Whether professionally, clinically or personally, there's always room where we can develop ourselves. However, the first thing I think about before developing is always reflecting. I always think about reflecting on where I am, what I've done, and then think of how I can take things to the next level. So I would encourage any younger dentists out there or any students out there that the key thing is developing. Always look how you can push the boundaries and go beyond yourself to reach the next level and aim for excellence. Thank you. Hi everyone, Dr. Millard here, also known as the Singing Dentist. And if there was one bit of advice I could give to all future dentists, it would be to practice your communication skills. Become a master communicator because building rapport with your patients, having a good relationship with them, just being able to communicate with them is the like most important thing that I've learned. And it's the most important skill if you ask me. You can learn how to improve your dental skills. You can learn new 
treatment modalities, all of that stuff. But if you can't talk to your patients, if you can't make them feel comfortable, and if you can't relay the messages to them in a way they understand it, they like it, and they take it on board, forget it. Dentistry is a people science, okay? You're doing your work on people. So you must be able to make those people feel comfy. And communication is the key. And just be a nice person. It's not that hard. Anyway, all the best. Hi, my name is Claudia. I'm one of the clinical supervisors in the Reform for Peninsula Dental School. Um, we have five students. I've been a dentist for almost 29 years. I qualified in Argentina, Buenos Aires. Then I came to the UK and passed my overseas exam in 2009. Lots of things I could say, but one that come to mind could be uh, always look after your posture. Make sure um, you're aware of your body, your posture, when you're working with patients. Invest in a very good uh, saddle or bambach chair. You can also have your managers perhaps to provide you with a saddle chair, which in the long term is better for your spine. We deal with a lot of stress. Very, it's a very demanding profession. And patients are very demanding nowadays. Try to communicate really well with them. And you would always be a successful dentist. It's a beautiful profession. I love being a dentist and I also love um, supervising and mentoring the students. And if you need anything, just come and ask me. Hi there, my name is Dr. Craig Mallory of South Wales Oral Surgery. My practice is limited to oral surgery and dental implants. My top tip to dental students and recent graduates, throw yourself into everything. Endo, dentures, oral surgery, restorative, try it all. And then step back and think, right, well, it, how would I want my day list to look in 10 years time? What would be on there that would really excite me? And then take some time, five, eight, 10 years to explore that field. Travel the world, work in different places, work under different people, do some postgraduate studies. And then when you come out of that, you should hopefully be an expert in that field. And then every day should be invigorating and exciting for you. Um, it's a wonderful career and dentistry and it has many avenues. So take the time to focus in on what you enjoy. And then that will lead to a long and happy career. So wish you well from Wales and, and, and stay safe, please. Hi all, sorry, it's a bit of a dodgy video. Um, so my advice for young dentists would be always stick to what you decide would be the best way forward um, but always learn to listen to your patients and don't compromise don't be sort of um, put in a situation where you make bad decisions because you think um, the patient would prefer that than seeing somebody else um, always be true to yourself true to your beliefs work hard don't stop dreaming if you think you want something to happen for you just keep on um, pushing until it happens Enjoy what you do, um, stay spiritual, stay deep and stay to the good of the patient. Make sure that you always um, just keep dreaming, don't stop dreaming, okay? And always be proud and be happy of who you are, what you are, what you stand for. And um, just know that as long as you do good by your patients, they'll always um, stand by you too. I'm Victoria Wilson. I'm a dental therapist and I've been qualified for 17 years. If there is any advice I would give to the future dental profession, it would be, be true to yourself. We are all unique. We all have a unique quality to bring to the dental profession. So find your niche in what you love in dentistry and pursue it, and you will excel in it to carve that unique career path that you've dreamt of. So collectively, imagine what we could achieve together if we are all true to ourselves, doing exactly what we love in dentistry. And lastly, find a mentor. Hi, my name is Bill Beer and I started in dentistry 50 years ago. I'm still enthusiastic about it and run the final year clinic at the Peninsula Dental School. There are loads of things I wish I'd known earlier. It's called dental practice because you always go on learning. Being self-critical is really important, but also ask friends and colleagues to look at what you've done and appraise it for you. This will improve your knowledge and hone your skills. Practice makes perfect. Watching people more expert than yourself working is really helpful. You can select their useful attributes and use them yourself. It's a really competitive world out there and you need to be one step ahead of your peers in order to nail the interesting opportunities. Entering undergraduate competitions or writing case reports 
is a really good way to do this. Try to take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself and enjoy every minute of your career.